speaking of boneheads uh, trying to keep things that people like out of their hands, you know, people in Pennsylvania don't want to ban Philly cheesesteaks. Mm-hmm. But, but uh, you know, Dr. Oz does. He wants to put vegetables only on your Philly cheesesteaks. But here is this woman from Moms of Liberty. What a name, Moms of Liberty. Moms it's, of Liberty. It's almost like they don't even know what the word liberty means. Uh, I forget her fucking name here. I don't know her name, but this is on. This is on. She is. She's. She's Mother Liberty. And that's what well, she is. I'm sure. I'm sure yeah. she is. Um, she's talking about Peppa Pig here. You know, they freaked out when M and M's. They changed how they drew a green M M&M. and M. Remember that? They're yeah, like, yeah. No, I we're just going to change dude, how we draw. I remember when Tucker and Carlson they were like, was like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Oh, "You're going to ruin our economy because you're changing how you draw the green M M&M. and yeah. I mean, they changed how they. Uh, yeah, well, you know, board. again, a private company decided right, to do something do with their own product. Right, right. And then and then you have you have the Mr. Potato Head. Remember they freaked right. out about that? Because they again, changed the word on the box. They right. changed the word or the logo. They changed yeah, yeah. the logo on a box. The character is still Mr. Potato right. Head. But the well, brand, and there is a Mrs. Potato Head. They right, just right, changed right. how the box looked. But the name of the group is just Potato Head. Right. It's just, that's what it is. There's no Mr. on the brand. There's a right. Mr. Character. They never they never took away the fucking potato spuds dick, okay, guys? Right. They never well, did that. Do potatoes have dicks? I don't know. I don't know. i you know, you got one of those like, you know how they like grow roots and stuff? Yeah, maybe that's a maybe that's, maybe that's a that's a, penis, a potato penis. I, I don't know. I don't know. You know you know who would know Fuck, more? I don't know. Ted Cruz, Tucker that, Carlson. They are obsessed with genitalia. They, obsessed, they probably you know, wouldn't know. Sesame They're obsessed Street with it. Fucking obsessed with that stuff. Well, this fucking mom of liberty, this this bitch, she is fucking completely obsessed with with what people do and what, how, I mean, I can't even imagine how Ted Cruz and this lady is so obsessed with cartoons. Like they are obsessed with cartoons. I'm like, have you, have you went on the internet and actually watched this anime porn stuff? You're not even, right. you're not even skimming the, also, the, why are the, you, the cartoon why, porn yeah. iceberg here. Like if anyone also is bringing it, like Republicans will be like, oh, it's, it's, it's porn. It's anime porn. It's cartoon. It's like, it's like this. And it's like, why are you watching that other one? Right. Well, you know, are you, Ted are you doing obsessed. research like Josh Hawley? Well, Ted Cruz is obsessed with Mickey fucking Pluto. Like he can't stop talking about how Mickey fucks Pluto. Have you would you almost this? think you well, I, Yeah. I've seen him talk about, you know, in his, in his leather recliner yeah. chair as he's, he, as he's like, so disconnected in his elitist form. Like every but, three minutes he brings yeah. up th- this Disney porn. It's almost like the way that Ted Cruz talks about these other uh, inanimate objects, because that's right. what they are, right? They're either a cartoon that is just two dimensional. Uh, they are a, a, a toy that is, you know, <laughs> it doesn't fucking move unless you do it. Right. You would think that the the are you obsession... talking about are you talking about action figures or are you talking about something else to other kind of toys that well Ted no Cruz any might be other into? no any other toy oh okay Cruz does not want remember the whole he tried yeah, to ban right. the dildo thing? well I mean he wants dildos he just doesn't right, want right, right, right he right, wants right, them right. all for himself probably yeah 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 I mean here's the thing <laughs> for as much as Ted Cruz talks about these other inanimate uh, fiction characters mm-hmm. right yeah. You would you would kind of think that those were the things that he's running against. Like he's running for re-election in the Senate, and fucking Goofy or Mr. Potato Head or fucking Peppa Pig, like any of these people or any of these things were running against him as a U.S. senator for Texas. That is the impression that I get <laughs> from Ted Cruz for the you amount of time he's that he spends talking about that. So much that them. he thinks he's running against Mickey. I mean, oh, DeSantis yeah. thinks he's running against Mickey. Yeah, but you know, let's listen to the moms of Liberty lady here. Oh my god, you you won't believe this shit. When I watched this this morning, I was like, "What in the fuck are they talking about? They want they want to get rid of Peppa Pig because there's two mommies in there." I'm not shitting you. This is the reason. Watch a good portion of you know Peppa Pig is out of Great Britain, but it runs here in America, and a good portion of American parents have deeply held b- beliefs that conflict with um, the things that are being put out in these cartoons for toddlers. So change <laughs> the channel, dummy. I was just going to say, the, fuck the are ability, you talking about? <laughs> the great thing here is it's your body, your choice, your TV, okay? Uh-huh. You can choose whatever you want to watch in your house. If you don't want to watch Peppa Pig, don't turn it on. 
If you find that it's on some streaming network, don't pay for that streaming network. Right. I'm sure these companies don't give a fuck about <laughs> what you pay for and what you don't pay for. So you if mean you don't we have want... TV freedom here in the United States? We Dude, got TV freedom. Your TV, oh your choice, God. okay? That's oh, what I'm saying. If they don't Christ. want it on their TV, then don't fucking play it. But the, but the act of them saying right now, oh, well, they've got a same-sex couple, and it's a British show. It's a British show show but it right. airs here in the u.s then don't go to that channel the reason why it don't airs here in the, the network US is because it's really fucking popular because it's really fucking cute right if anyone out there has kids they know or grandkids knows that this fucking show these kids love this fucking show and it's it, if you think that this show is bad what the i i watched looney tunes when i was a fucking kid and I, i'm gonna point this out because i think this is important listen to what she says and so parents need to you know make the choice and they need but they need to be informed yeah. Yeah, I, I just want to be blunt about it. If there may be some viewers that watch and say, is this being homophobic? Yes, yes, you're about to be homophobic. When you say, when you say, I want to be blunt about it, a lot of viewers yeah, are yeah, yeah. think this is homophobic. You're like, look, Dude's guys. Dude's about to be homophobic. I'm, I'm not a racist, but, but, right, like, if anyone's going to come in and say, oh look, uh, some people might say that this is transphobic, homophobic, racist, ageist, ableist. Like, if yeah, that's you what introduce it is. <laughs> something where you have this, like, thing that precedes what you have where you're like, look, some people might say this is this, but, and you're like, dude, you already, by the fact of you saying that, <laughs> you've already taken away the ability to claim that it's not that. Because right. you're now using this as an excuse to be like, well, look, I'm not saying this. It's other people, okay? And if you're offended, that's on you, right? Well, which, I mean, you have the right to be offended. I also have the right to know that you're about to serve us up. You're giving us the warning. Hey, yeah. I'm a, I'm about to be a homophobe. <laughs> yeah. That's what they should just do is just have like a- Just flash in. You're like, right. warning, warning, warning. This not dick warning. is about to be a homophobe. Alert. You're, we're about to serve you the a homophobic- argument here yeah it, 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 and they're like make sure to tivo this right oh, and listen to this this is uh it's incredible but really what we're looking at or rather what um mom speaking out about this is, is looking at is is it too young is it too soon to introduce that am i what? analyzing that correct and, oh, too young to introduce what so you're telling me that a child yeah of a same-sex couple should not acknowledge or learn about what their parents are in the relationship and how they fit within the world at any point. Like they, these people, these people right now on the show are going to say, no, it's inappropriate. People, kids who are in, uh, who are ch the, the child or children of a same sex couple, guys, it's too much for them to handle. They don't know how they, they, they cannot compute these things. Well, here's the thing. Is that what these people, these fucking Christian nationalists, these fucking Nazis are scared of, what they're terrified of is that the younger generation sees that, that someone has two moms on, on a cartoon, which happens in real life, too. Yeah. Their children have two moms, two dads. It happens. Some have one mom. Some have one dad. Mm -hmm. It just and some have a mommy and a daddy. Right. That's what happens in reality here, kids. Right. And what what they're what they're terrified of. Is that not that it's inappropriate? It's that that they won't be able to teach their children bigotry. That's right. what they're scared of. They're scared that they won't be able to teach their children to hate these people. If mm -hmm. Peppa Pig shows them that it's eh, it's, it's no big deal, right? It's really not. That and big God deal. forbid that these shows, which again are popular in the U.S. and you know any you know what any show for that matter that do decides to discuss Pig? this, do I? Yeah. No, I don't watch. This. Have you? Uh, I try to remember. Maybe if it's cute as fuck, man. You yeah, no, I've, I've seen I've seen clips. I'm just trying to remember, like, if I was ever babysitting, you know, in the past and watched it from like a friend's kid or something. It's like been that. on for a long time. Yeah, There's yeah. like millions but, of episodes. So but, I mean, like, you know, when they sit down, they can watch it for years and not. Right, 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 right. You know, I'm sure I've passed kids with an iPad in a in a in a restaurant too, watching Peppa Pig like on the on the iPad. But I will say this, like. Not only just this show, but the fact that shows bring up, you know, n stories that are not just about a white cis dude. <laughs> it's right? a talking pig. They're right. talking. No, no, pigs. I know. I know. <laughs> but what I'm saying is like you would you would almost think like, hey, this oh, company, this network who makes the show, hey, says, hey, look, our demographic, our viewer are like our actual 
viewer base and the people who just are representative in the world, oh shit, they actually aren't just all white straight people. They're a person of color. They come from a different country. They have a different culture, religion. They are in a different, you know, it's a, a man and a man or a woman, a woman, or, you know, it's a non-binary person with another non-binary person or something else, right? Like, it's not, you're not groom. you're not using this to create these things. You're not using the show to groom these people. These people it's exist and they it's are represented. Reality. Yeah. And they're represented through the characters in the show. Right. So that when other people in society go, hey, look, my family is different than their family. And now I can see a show where I can go, oh, my God, that relates. Because I can tell you right now, children are very smart. They are very smarter than these two fucking boneheads. Oh, yeah. One hundred percent. They are able to pick up on things that that most people don't. There's no filter, and the under like the ability to understand complex situations is actually it, it exists, right? That is something that they get. They can understand something also as simple as this person loves this person, right? And they are your that's parents. All you need to know, and it's really, no more that's complex as, than that's that. That's as far as your business needs to go. With exactly. This. But if you see that, if you see on here, it says woke culture, because. You know, they've been on this cancer culture for, for fucking years now. And the reason why they've been on this tirade about cancer culture is because they actually want to cancel things. And mm -hmm. again, it's all projection. The Eminem right. thing, the potato Well, they're going to cancel themselves out of existence because well, here's the thing. They're going to go down a checklist and say, we can't have this. We can't have that. We can't have that. We can't have that. And by the end of the time, they're confined within a box that's like, well, you, you, you can't ever go there and you can't ever say that and you can't ever right. do that because they were the ones who were like, we are triggered. We are triggered by those things that you find uh, uh, to be a part of your lives, which is the woke culture, right? Right. Woke. Oh, they're woke. But l listen, it gets better. It gets better because we got to get the bone in the week. So let's 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 continue. Exactly. Yeah, and, and parents need to know what their kids are watching. You know, in the old days, you watched a cartoon. There was really nothing to discuss after. It was all kind of non-political, no agenda, uh, you know, just, just funny things to laugh at. Uh, and you didn't really have to sit down with your toddler afterwards or your five-year-old and have a discussion about what they just watched. And so, you know, if parents aren't ready to have these conversations. And this this here is the image that they're, that they're terrified Ooh. of. Look at that. They're sitting down and they're eating pasta. Oh, my God. Why are we scary. so triggered? Okay, oh, my fine. God. Pigs shouldn't eat pasta. God <laughs> damn it. They fucking got them. A talking pig shouldn't eat pasta in the kitchen and dress up, apparently. I've never seen a pig with glasses. But Maybe there are some also, somewhere. Also, which I'm sure you're about to bring up in a moment about, like, Looney Tunes and things like that. But, like, there are cartoons. Dude, I watched fucking Ren and Stimpy as a kid. Right. That shit was... <laughs> That was not chain, appropriate man. for a kid, man. Beavis and Butthead? Beavis and Butthead? Dude, Come not on. at all. Dude, these are jokes. I am holding like, on a TV for my bungalow. Everyone right. no, no, it's remembers like even, TV even, cartoons. Even for Ren and Stimpy, man, when they zoom in, it is very graphic. Right. Like, they're, like, zoomed in on, like, an eye that was, like, fucking busted and shit. Like, that is not... Well, I mean, do you remember the violence you know. on, on Looney Tunes? Like, all out yeah. violence. Do you remember the racism? Well, yeah. Well, do I? And then the other thing, too, is Bugs Bunny... If you remember to get away from Elmer Fudd, would dress up in drag to confuse yeah. Elmer Fudd because Elmer Fudd apparently is a MAGA Republican and he would I be mean, confused. Do you also remember, you know, Pepe Le Pew? Oh right? yeah, the rapey, little, the rapey. little aggressive, you know, a little rapey. Yeah, mm. uh, just a Ew. smidge. But here, here they're scared of this imagery here that comes out of Britain, yeah. as they say. Let's let's continue with their children. Then they need to not not let them view these types of cartoons. And the yeah, biggest problem so? here is that parents need to be aware because they're just not. They've they've watched Peppa Pig. I think it's been running for 20 years. Uh, they have watched it forever and they, they don't know this stuff is being introduced. So it's important that news media outlets cover it and that people speak out just so people are aware. Uh, they may choose to let their children watch it and have the conversation or they may not, but it, it's their right to do so. Wait, wait, yeah, wait. Yeah, you're, no, you're, should... telling me, you're telling me that a show is using its program to introduce a topic that maybe should be discussed at, at some point right hmm maybe maybe you ran right into the point there dummy let's let's continue he gets he gets worse here watch this just a snippet there um again it's two two moms in the home no uh, no it's two pigs yeah it's, they're pigs dude two pig. they're, they're, they're pigs. female pigs they're right. two pigs 
and and they're, they're mommy pig pigs. And mommy pigs. Yeah, but they're not humans. Jesus Christ! They're not real people. It's a fucking two dimensional cartoon. Right. That's why. That's why people didn't drop anvils on on other people's heads off a cliff after they watched the Road Runner and Wiley mm-hmm. Coyote because it's a fucking cartoon. Oh Jesus. Um. And many are asking, is it too no, early? I'm just no, curious. Not. No, they're you, not. You said you saw only you dumb fascists are asking. Um, obviously, it may be in, uh, sprinkled into other shows or other children's books, as we've covered on these broadcasts before. Um, is there an is there an age appropriate time for something like this? These cartoons obviously are are, are geared for very young children. Can you imagine? I'm going to stop there. Can you imagine if? If if these people were walking out in public and they see they see two people with a young child and they just they're like, oh, there's two there's two women with one job. And they're eating spaghetti yeah. at this restaurant and they just freak the fuck out. I mean, they're freaking out and like, hey, wait a second. I'm I'm this child's mom and she's do her we, aunt. Do- what the, the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I mean, the- really, honestly, that's what they're doing here. They freak out. It's the woman, so I just did a quick out. search really quick, the Moms of Liberty, and I'm reading about their about page. Was that Tiffany or was that Tina? I think it might have been uh, Tina. 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 Okay, so Tina. Dina Deskovich, right? She has a long record of fighting for students and parental rights in Florida at a national level. She was elected, blah, blah, blah. She was elected again for this other thing. While on the board, <laughs> she was a member of the Florida Coalition of School Board Members and serves as organizer and president in 2018. Tina currently serves on several nonprofits. That's fucking terrifying in her community <laughs> that are aimed at helping children not good nope not she and not her husband helping. derek sounds like a dick have five children i feel sorry for them if your mother is this person who is that much of a controlling uh fascist she's passionate about america and is dedicated to protecting liberty and freedom well uh, uh, freedom freedom now the, for the nope. future of all children so here's the thing i don't see anywhere in this bio that she's a clinical uh, psychologist or therapist or uh, um, a pediatrician or you anyone mean that she's feels... just a dumb MAGA Republican. Is that right. what you're saying? Like this I'm one saying here. That, I'm saying that she's not a trained professional that would know the answer to. So, at what point are we able to introduce these things into a child's life? Right. That person on your own personal level as a mother you can do whatever you want right that's your liberty comes, that's your yeah, freedom liberty and your freedom and your mm-hmm. own your own family you can, your own you choice you have you like joe biden says you have the right to be a fucking idiot yeah you have the right to be an idiot that it's america speaking of rights to be idiots i bet tina and this lady would get along then we'll go to bonehead of the week watch yeah this. yeah it's fun to be here it's fun to have a big family who who here has who who here has at least eight there's eight kids in your family Fuck, man, that's right. a lot of kids. There's, a, there's some breeders here. All right. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I'm not shitting you. Let's back it up. Let's rewatch before we go to Bonehead, because this is a real fucking Bonehead here. Watch this. Yeah, yeah right? There's, a, there's some breeders here. All right. <laughs> oh, baby. Fuck. Oh, my God. Tina and her would get along really well. Oh, that, that brings is boneheaded that, type boneheaded stuff. Wow, Jesus Christ, man! It's, Breeders, that type of language is the same as like I need a ve- an earthen vessel. Again, I need a I need a producer of of bodies. Like there is there is there is a great um, part of liberty in this country, and Joe Biden said it so well. You do. You do have the freedom and the right to be really fucking stupid, and that yeah. that is just. Mwah, the mm. stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard. 